Here we are going to factor polynomials completely. And for our first example, our example four, we notice that we have four terms. So right away, I'm thinking uh, that we're going to factor by grouping. So we're going to make two groups. And in the first group, we see that we have x to the fourth and x to the third. So right away, we can factor out in x to the third. And that would leave us with x plus 7. Now, if we look at the first group here, we want to make our first binomial. We want to make our second binomial exactly the same. And what we notice is we have a lead coefficient that's positive. So here we have a lead coefficient that's negative. So I'm going to have to factor out that negative. I also want to make this one x. So I have to get rid of a 9, and I have to get rid of an x. So let's see if it works. So if you factor out a 9x, that will leave us with x. And negative 63x divided by negative 9x is positive 7. So we have our two binomials that are the same. So now we can actually factor the x plus 7 out because the x plus 7 is in both terms here, joined by subtraction. So we can factor out the x plus 7. And that is going to leave us with x cubed minus 9x. At this point, our first binomial is all factored out. We can't uh, simplify that any further. Uh, but now we have our second binomial, and we have x cubed, and we have an x. So now we can factor an x out of that. So x plus 7. Then we can factor out that x. And once we factor out an x on that second binomial, we're left with x squared minus 9. And now we can see that we have uh, two terms, and they're both perfect squares. If we take the square root of x squared, we get x. And if we take the square root of 9, we get 3. So now we're left with the difference of squares. And so we can factor that one last time. And we're left with x plus 7 times x. And then the difference of squares where we say x minus 3, x plus 3. Now we can use the zero product property x plus 7 equals 0, x equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0, and x plus 3 equals 0. And when we do that math to solve, subtract 7, we get x is equal to negative 7, x is still equal to 0, x is equal to 3, and x is equal to negative 3. So x equals negative 7, negative 3, 0, and 3.